Hi everyone, Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. I've got one of our most exciting vehicles here for you today. This is our 2019 next generation BMW X550i with a twin turbo V8. This one's been built with our M Sport package and it's got the upgraded 22 inch <laughs> wheels. Just an amazing look. Good job BMW on these designs. You're just killing it with these wheels. You've got nine and a half by 22s up front and then you got 10 and a half by 22 in the back. You've got a 275 series on those front front wheels and we got a 315 series on the back. Now the 50i, the twin turbo V8 model, um, is going to come standard with BMW's intelligent X drive all wheel drive system. Now, in most conditions, dry conditions, pavement, cement, freeway around town, you are going to have a rear wheel biased um, type of drive. Ah, there goes the previous. All right, yeah, there goes uh, our previous one. Very, very cool. <laughs> and I didn't tell him to drive by, so. <laughs> But yeah, so what you're gonna have is a rear wheel drive bias. You know, there's the benefits obviously as a rear wheel drive, but with this system, um, BMW's capabilities with the available power, you can have 100% to the front two wheels if need be um, in whatever driving conditions you might head into. Now you've almost got nine inches of travel, but check out the contact to the road. And it's very, very cool to have a size 22 inch from the factory. You know, with the higher center of gravity on this vehicle, um, you know, you need as much grip as possible, especially with BMW's heritage with their handling and racing and all that being incorporated into all their vehicles. And the balance, I mean, that's one thing, I've been with them for a really long time and the front to rear balance on these cars is amazing, um, which then obviously helps with overall safety, handling, comfort, and their technology is really, really amazing too. So we got a lot of stuff to go over. Try not to make the video too long, but uh, this car weighs 5170 curb weight. You're looking at a uh, the um, wheelbase is 117 inches. The car's 194 inches long, uh, 87 inches wide with the mirrors and almost 70 inches tall. Now it's about an inch longer than our previous generation, the 2018 model. A um, little wider and a little shorter. But let's go ahead and have Trish do some rev time for us. Very, very nice. That's in our sport mode. Helps kind of wake up the exhaust. But check out our designs here on the rear lights. One thing I've noticed too is being with BMW and seeing these new body styles we've been coming out the next generation. I've really been looking at other cars and looking at the angles and the curves, you know, that they have on their cars. Um, and it's really amazing how you see some companies really cut corners on design and shadowing and everything that you could possibly do. I mean, you look at these lights. I mean. Look at the curves and angles they put here, the bumpers, just about everywhere. I mean, the only place I find maybe somewhat of a flat surface is along the side of the car. Then you go down low, you see some amazing curves, which really throw off, you know, throw the light off the body, really see some neat reflections. You see a lot of attitude. Hey, everybody. <laughs> but man, I walk around these cars and I really start to see all the little curves and just everything that they've done. And then I start looking at other cars and I look at what they've done with their lights, with their door handles, with the rear wind diffuser on the top of the window. And then obviously the bumpers, the exhaust. Now I know this one's an M Sport package, so it's definitely been upgraded with a little bit more attitude, but go look at the standard body style. I mean, they've just done amazing job with just constantly having details everywhere around the body. I don't see them cutting corners anywhere. Not true, I know I've been with them for 20 years, but back when you look at a 2000 X5, compared to what they have now, obviously you're gonna see a huge difference. But even inside the lighting, I mean, all the details they've done, the front bumper, obviously they brought in a lot more angles and lines onto the hood. 
But check out the front bumper now. Check out all this detail. I really don't see any wasted space whatsoever to give this car some more attitude, to give this car more style. Amazing design on these active kidney grills. Actually, right now it's closed, so it doesn't need any cooling. It'll open on its own if it does. These LED headlights, running lights, fog lights. I mean, I'm just really impressed on what they've done. Not just with this, but obviously the X7. You know, our 2018 X3. And then obviously the Z4, they've done an amazing job on the style on that car too. The curves, the angles, all the detail they've done. All right, let's get Trish out here. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen her. Hey, Trish. How you doing? <laughs> let's show them the power plant on this thing. Cool guys, so we have an upgraded N63. This is the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. So we're dealing with 456 in horsepower, 479 in torque. Um, and I think that starts about 1500 RPMs for all that push. Um, you're looking at a zero to 60 on this at 4.6, the way it sits from BMW. And you know, BMW, we always put some great covers on the engines. So you can see that design there. Let's go ahead, we'll close it up. Let's get Trish in the back seat so she can show you the leg room, show you some of the neat things they've upgraded on the new generation X5. We'll let her get into the back seat. There we go. What do we got here, Trish? So this is really great. You have a charging port here for the new cell, uh, cell phone. You have a attachment uh, compartment here, and this is for an iPad. BMW does sell an accessory where you can plug in the iPad holder here. So that's really nice, seamless close there. And then you have your heating and cooling component in the center. There you go. You can see all the buttons and adjustments there for you. Let me get over here to the door. Let's show you that. Now we do still have a rear entertainment system that's available too with dual touch screens that you can have in the back. That would be on the back of both headrests. I think this is a really smart idea via BMW and also these attachments because if you go for a drive, you're going out of town, staying at a resort or whatever, at least you've got your portable tablet. You can have it here, download the, the movies, the videos, whatever you want to watch on the trip, then take it out and take it into the resort so you can keep you using it at the pool or, or in the um, hotel room. One thing I really like too is the handles they've done. These The, the level handles for armrest, really soft. The buttons, um, everything they've done here. Even the lighting across here, you can customize the color. But when the door is open, the engine's on, this light will actually flash. And it's a pretty bright LEDs that they've done on this just to let people know at night, coming around the corner, coming around the back side of the vehicle, that's just a quick way to say, hey, the door's open, check this out, just to let you know. Also, they even have in the console and the dash that when a phone call comes in, it'll actually pulsate and flash just to let you know that a phone call is coming in. So, Trish, and what do you think of the back seat? It's comfortable? Yep. That's great to hear. It's one thing I've noticed on the test drives in this car that the back seat has gotten really, really soft. Um, I mean, still supportive, but a lot softer um, than our previous gen. So very comfortable, especially on that first test drive I did. So we'll let Trish go ahead and jump out. She'll come around to the back. Let's show you some stuff back here. Now the cargo space, now you've got uh, 33 cubic feet of storage back here with the seats up and then it jumps up to 72 cubic feet of storage with the seat down. Go ahead, Trish. Okay, so you used to have to do this manually. Now it's a button in the tail. down. And you can get the option, which is the luggage compartment option. And that will allow you to have these lovely buttons here. So we'll go ahead and press one of those. Yeah, very cool idea by BMW so you don't have to take your security shade or cargo cover out and throw it in the garage or store it underneath the floor now in these vehicles. You've actually got an automatic. And then this way, what's cool is that when you close this up, it's gonna automatically come out and close. When you open up the rear hatch, that's gonna automatically close for you back there. And if you need to, then you can store it. And if Trish pushes that button again, you'll see that the floor opens up. 
away and it gives you a really seamless look once it's down. Also with our luggage compartment package, we do have kind of these grippy slits here, which are really cool in case you do, uh, do have maybe a case of wine, something back here you don't want sliding around. You can see they've actually got their modules down underneath here. So what they'll do is basically kind of like almost reach up and kind of not grab, but they're very sticky. So they're going to grip your luggage. They're going to grip things back here that you potentially do not want sliding around, especially when you're heading through the canyons, heading out to the ocean via, you know, Malibu here from Thousand Oaks. So a really nice, great idea. You know, the technology, the things they've been thinking about on everyday drives, picking up cargo, going to the airport, you got luggage, things like that. You don't want stuff flying around in the back of your vehicle, especially with a vehicle with this much horsepower, this much speed, and this much handling. Um, and then let's have Trish show us too. So now the seats you can put down from back here mm -hmm. and you do not need the luggage compartment option to have the ability to put the seats down from the back. So that's, that's really standard. nice and convenient. Yes, yeah, so you can really see how much cargo. Now you're up to about 72 cubic feet of storage just in case you're making a Costco run or uh, obviously buying other things for the house. But yeah, let's go ahead. Trish is going to go around to that side right. to put that. Oh yeah, and go ahead and show the clothes. Close this, the bottom will come up on its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that can be opened and closed from the front door and then obviously the um, remote you can um, open it and then you can kick it open and kick it closed also with the comfort access feature that's standard here on the X5. So we're going to have Trish come on over and get into the driver's seat. There we go. Now let's go over some stuff. We'll straighten out that wheel a little bit. So you got the M Sport steering wheel on this model here. Let's show you your 12.3 inch high definition digital display here that you have for, your, um, for all your information for driving, cruise control, all the information, even navigation on the center part. And then you've got the different setups. You know, there's a sport mode, Eco Pro. So it does change up the color and the design of the screen a little bit there, just so you know which mode you're in. Very cool. And over here on the door, you can see they've made it very easy on reaching all the buttons, mirror adjustment. There's your button for opening and closing the trunk. You've also, you can see here, this particular one's got the, the, the massage feature. So, and then you've also obviously got the settings up there, easy to get to, unlock and lock. Everything's up high, easy to see. Then you can see here, here's your controls for the seats. So they have adjusted the layout a little bit. So it's kind of nice, but easy to get to. And after you get to play with them a little bit, you'll definitely know what each of these buttons are for. What do you think, Trish? You like it? It's amazing. Yes. Cool. I'll go get it on the other side. Right. I'll just talk about a couple things for a minute on the outside. Yeah, so I mentioned about the, uh, this is the, the 50i, this is the twin turbo V8 here. So we also do have a 40i, which is um, zero to 65.3 seconds. And that's our turbocharged six cylinder engine. So depending if you really don't need this much horsepower, uh, we definitely have an amazing six cylinder available. Just wanted to do a little bit more of a walk around here. Now, one thing with the 50i, you do get some adaptive suspensions. You know, they adjust the dampeners. You have an adaptive setting for the sport button or what we call our driver's assistance buttons, that Eco Pro Comfort Sport. So it's nice with this being the V8, you've really got some very nice upgradable suspension and adaptive suspension that comes with this car. You've got a two, ax uh, two axle air suspension on this vehicle. So really, depending on what conditions you're going to drive into this car is going to be ready for it especially i like the adaptive because you put it in adaptive it's going to adjust the attitude of the vehicle and the performance depending on how you drive so yes you can put it into sport and leave it in sport you know but i kind of like that adaptive because then you get on it it's going to say okay let's have some fun let's kick back on the freeway maximize efficiency that's what that's what it's going to do Man, I love those wheels. This car's got a lot of attitude. And now the sun's really starting to come out. The clouds are starting to burn off here. So you can really see that tanzanite blue. And this is the second generation metallic. So they have tweaked the shade just a little bit. Let's go ahead and go inside. Let me show you the back seat really quick. 
halfway going with Trish. I just wanted to show him. How you doing, Trish? Just want to really show you the design features of the leather. Also, even the uh, panoramic moonroof has gotten a little larger. Yeah, look at all the glass. And it is tinted for protection to protect the interior material, the interior materials, and also obviously us. In case you do want to have it open for a few hours while you're driving to your destination out of town. All right, looks like Trish has got the MSRP there, so we could go over that. I was checking to see if this had the acoustic sound glass, which it does, which is really amazing. Yeah, what's nice, it's a small option that you can order, but it helps even make the cabin even quieter. So we do have the acoustic glass feature on this car. But let's go ahead and focus in. Trish can tell us some stuff about the car. All right, so we have a 2019 BMW X5 xDrive 50i. And you could pause the video at this time if you like. This has a luxury seating package, M-Sport package, parking assistance, premium package two. Um, this is the color Tanzanite blue. This is the second generation metallic. And the interior is the ivory white merino leather. Lots of good things there. there. And then and the wood have... was the... I'm trying to remember this particular one here. Oopsie. Let's see. <laughs> Was we the have mesh? the brown oh, ash green wood. Yep. The brown ash green wood. So let's show you that here in some sunlight. And it has a slight shimmer to it. You might not be able to see it on the camera. Like a metallic, it's, huh? Yeah, like it's a not glitter, a so. glitter. It's almost just a very, very fine shimmer. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and then our gas mileage. Gas really? Rating at 17 and 22. That'll be your city highway with an average of 19. And then here's your production location where they produce the vehicle here in the United States. The total suggested retail price is nine, a little bit over 90,000. That's US dollars. Cool, perfect. So let's go ahead and show them one of the neat features that BMW's been coming out on all the recent cars is your credit card key, basically, is really what it is. So this it's... is fantastic. <laughs> so this yeah. replaces the key, and this really comes in handy if you're going to go on a hike or for a night out on the town, and you just put this in your wallet or your clutch. Or surfing. Yes, yeah, exactly. Something wet. And it's just amazing. So uh, this will unlock your door, and then if you place it here, it will allow you to start the engine. And that's where we have our wireless charging. So that's kind of nice. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a process because now the comfort access feature on this car, when you're starting to walk up and get close to the vehicle, it'll know you're coming. It'll unlock the vehicle. When you get out of the car and start to walk away, I think just under 10 feet, the car will beep and automatically lock. So a lot of you that have had BMWs, the comfort uh, access feature, you know, you've had to touch the door handle when you leave to have it lock. Well, now you don't. So it's a really neat feature, just less you have to deal with. Also, the air conditioning system has been simplified, as we can see with the buttons just right across here. Now, you do have an option to go into the menu button and go in and, and deal with more of your features for air conditioning. But after you've got an initial setup, you can see it's been very simplified, easy. The buttons that you're gonna wanna use or maybe use, depending automatic or not, are right out front here. You've got your screen and then BMW's 12.3 inch um, iDrive control command center basically screen here. High definition, hardware's been upgraded, it's quick, it's fast, and there's a lot of customizing you can do. Just like you see on your cell phones and your tablets, there's really a lot, so if you go to the home page, the menu, for the first page, Trish, you can see here, you've got your different templates. This one's set up with three different items. You can actually go to a max of four, and then there's your next page. There's your next page. So you can really tailor the most important things that you might play around with a lot. Complete touch screen and also the voice command system is just really natural, very easy to deal with. You can set up, you know, hey BMW, my BMW, kind of like a Google, you know, voice command or a Siri type setup, which maybe you've seen on some of the BMW commercials. So it's really nice. It's very simple to communicate and get what you want when you want it in your BMW use just by voice command and you can see here's our different settings on the steering wheel 
basically in the heads up display. You can push your phone button, use the toggle, and you'd be able to go through your phone history right up on your windshield to call people back. You can pull up music. You can pull up your presets and have just your favorites up on the windshield. And then definitely there's also the navigation information will come up there. Now you can move the heads up display. You can dim it and you can also turn it off. It's something you, if you don't want to deal with it. And then over here, here's our cruise control settings over there. And then what we'll do is now BMW has put the start button right down next to the gear shift. And then we have our driver's experience buttons here, our command center on basically what I call the attitude adjustment in the car. So you have your sport, comfort is your default setting, Eco Pro, and then there's the adaptive button. And that's something I really like because then you can just set it in that mode and it's going to adjust to your type of driving. Then you can see over here we have additional cameras we can play with. Like for an example, I just pushed the front camera. And what I like a lot too is you've got the sensors on both sides over here. So you're coming out of an alleyway, can't see down the road, turn this on and it's looking down both sides and it'll actually alert you if it does see any type of movement. So a lot of you downtown drivers, you know, skyscrapers, pulling out of parking garages, things like that. Really nice feature with this, you know, kind of like a fisheye a camera that we have on the front now. And Electro, electromechanical parking brake, which is great to have because now you have auto hold, which, excuse me, we've actually had it since uh, 07 and it premiered in the X5. So anytime the car comes to a stop, it'll automatically hold you in place and drive. And when you're ready to go, you just hit the gas pedal. Great for traffic, great for long red lights. And then here's our iDrive, iDrive 7 Command Center here, basically your controller, which everyone's used to, touchpad, and then you have all your shortcut buttons if you want to. So we've really thought about those and have gradually adjusted the placement of these buttons over the years. Yeah, it's definitely a beautiful wood with this ivory interior. And then Trish, where can we follow you at? You can follow me on Instagram, BMW underscore Trisha, T-R-I-S-H-A. Cool, perfect. Let's give you another shot of the cabin here. Trish definitely likes this. Are you in the sport mode? Oh, Trish is already in the sport mode. This is my favorite interior <laughs> color, by the way. A cool. lot of you ask me my favorite um, exterior color and interior. This is by far my favorite interior color, the ivory. It's gorgeous. Cool, good to hear. What's your favorite exterior? Mm. You like black, I white, I still gray? like the alpine white. Okay, I still you do. Like the white. This would look amazing, white with the ivory interior. Yeah. All right, Trish is gonna launch this thing. Remember to come get me, okay, Trish? Don't forget. <laughs> cool, thanks for watching, everybody. I know I just touched on a few things, but uh, there's a lot more you can learn on. Uh... Let's have her. <laughs> Man, that thing sounds awesome. Yeah, check out BMWUSA.com. Um, we have a customizer there where you can customize, build your car. And if you're in the state of California, please, you know, send me an email. I'd love to be able to earn your business or have a chance. I work at Rusnak BMW in Thousand Oaks. So Trish is going to come back and get me here, and then we'll, and then we'll head down the street, go for just a little drive here. I know a lot of you like that. Yeah, check out that color. That thing is awesome. My first BMW was blue. That's why I love it so much. All right. Let's jump in. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my seatbelt. It really go. gets up and it goes when you're ready. Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh, on boy. For safety. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mine tightened up. It's got me strapped into the seat. Uh, the next one we'll head down to. Now remember, we have it in sport mode, so you're going to have a really giddy up and go kind of feel to it. If you were to put it into Comfort or Eco Pro, you would have more of a casual drive. But... 
Yeah, and also the sport modes do wake up the exhaust system. BMW on this new generation um, has done a phenomenal job on, on putting on um, or developing an exhaust system that really sounds like a custom exhaust system. So I know a lot of us um, sometimes like to personalize our cars, you know, not just maybe software updates, but also maybe a custom exhaust. And BMW is really done an awesome job on there to get them throaty burping and popping and making all kinds of noise to really make it give you a, you know that advanced sport you know um driving experience so definitely a very cool feature and what's nice is it's not like always on you can go into a comfort mode or eco pro and it's going to quiet up for you for those long drives huh trish yeah when you want to get a little showy you just yep <laughs> All right. Cool, Trish. Thanks for the drive here. Yes, Jump wonderful. out, give them a give them a last shot of the car. And thanks for everybody for watching. If you like the video, please share it on your other media sources like Facebook. Give me a thumbs up. But cool. Check this car out. Amazing 22s. Man, look thanks, Trish. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.